Hello everyone, welcome to Ma's Hook Nook. In this video we are going to talk about the common crochet terms and their abbreviations. And I will go step by step into each one. And this is also the beginning of how to read patterns. So let's get started. Alright, my first common crochet term is the chain which is the foundation stitch for most of your crochet projects. The abbreviation in the patterns, when you read them, is CH, and normally it will tell you to chain so many for whatever you're trying to start. And to do a chain, you have your slip knot on your hook, yarn over, and just pull it through, and there's one chain. Yarn over, and pull through. Yarn over, pull through. I'm going to do a few chains on my hook here because I have a few more stitches to go over. All right, so let's move on to our next because this is the chain. And again, when you read a crochet pattern, this is what it'll show up as is CH. A lot of the patterns that you will read will have a legend, and it should say CH chain is what it means in their legend. So let's move on to our next term. Our next term is term is the slip stitch, and it will be abbreviated by an SS, and it is really easy to do. You Take your hook, insert it into your stitch, yarn over, pull through your stitch, and then pull through the loop on your hook. Again, insert your hook into your stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then just pull it straight through your stitch. And one more time, into your stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, and just pull it directly through. And that is your slip stitch. Okay, let's move on to our next term. Okay, our next term is the single crochet. You will hear it a lot. And the abbreviation is an SC. And to do a single crochet, you insert your hook into your stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, so you have two loops. And you're going to yarn over and pull through both loops. Again, insert into your stitch, yarn over, pull up so you have two loops, yarn over, pull through both loops. Insert, yarn over, two loops, yarn over, and you have your single crochet also known as a single stitch. There's that. All right, let's see what else we have. This one is the half double crochet. The abbreviation is HDC. And most of your abbreviations will be in capital letters when they're in a pattern. So just a quick review of the stitch. This one you're going to yarn over. Insert your hook into your stitch, yarn over and pull up so that you have three loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through all three. So that's a yarn over and put it into the stitch, yarn over three loops, yarn over. And pull through all three. Again, yarn over, insert into your next stitch, yarn over, pull through for you three loops, yarn over, and all three. And that is a half double crochet stitch. All right, let's see what's next. Our next stitch is double crochet, which is one of the most popular stitches in crocheting. It is abbreviated with DC. And it is a relatively easy stitch. You're going to yarn over, 
and insert your hook into your stitch. Most of the time they will tell you to, when it's your starting stitch, they'll tell you to skip two or three stitches. Okay, you know, I have three loops. Yarn over, pull through just two loops. You have two, you're gonna yarn over and pull through those. And that is a double crochet. Yarn over, insert into your stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. So you have three loops. You're going to yarn over, pull through just two loops so that you have two on your hook. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over. Insert, yarn over, pull through. Three. Yarn over, pull through two. Then you have two. Yarn over and pull and you have two. And those are double crochet stitches. Okay, let's move on to our next term. Our next one is called the treble crochet or the triple crochet is what it is also called. It will be abbreviated with TR or TC. It is one of the more advanced stitches that you do. Because in this one you're going to wrap your hook where you have three loops and then one, two, three. I'm going to insert my hook on my fourth stitch on my chain here pull up a loop so that you now have four you're going to yarn over you're going to pull through two loops yarn over two loops yarn over two loops that's the treble or triple crochet so yarn over twice on your hook so you have three hook loops insert your hook into your stitch Yarn over, pull over. Now you have four. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And again, yarn over twice. So you have three. You're going to insert into two, your next stitch and pull up a loop so that you have four. Then you're going to yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And yarn over. Until you have just one, and these are treble stitches or triple stitches. Okay, let's see what's next on our list. The next term I have for you is yarn over, and it will be abbreviated with Y O. And basically, what it means is to wrap your yarn around your hook. So, when I say yarn over, you wrap your yarn around your hook, like when you do a double crochet. You wrap it around, insert it, yarn over, pull through, and yarn over, pull through two loops. You have two, yarn over, and pull through two. And that is how you do the yarn over. Let's see what's next. My next term is the magic ring or the magic circle. It is an adjustable ring that you crochet into to work in the round. And I'll show you how to do it. The abbreviation is an MR, or if they have it as the magic circle, it would be MC. Now, to make it, I wrap it around crisscross over the top of my fingers. I take my hook, I insert it through the bottom, but then I come back up and catch this top one, twist, and pull it through. And then you crochet how many ever it says, like, I'm going to do a double crochet. I'm going to crochet two, chain two, one, two, and then I'm just going to double crochet into my loop and I'll show you how it's done. So there's one, two, okay. As you can see, I went ahead and crocheted inside the circle so you have a whole bunch and you take your tail, when you have the amount of stitches you want, you pull it, and it just makes a nice, a lot of them tell you just go in and slip stitch into your first stitch that you made. So there's your slip stitch again, and see, it makes a nice holeless base for whatever project you're working on. I like to use these with making the stuffed animals and with making a hat. But that 
is how you do the magic ring and you crochet in the magic ring. Right, so let's see what our next term is. Okay. The next term really it appears on Facebook groups and groups that you're included in. And it's called the whip, which means it's your work in progress. It's what you're working on currently. So let's move on to the next term. A lot of people ask what a corner to corner is. It's just, or, or a C2C. C2C means corner to corner, and it is a blanket or scarf worked from corner to corner. The next term is frogging or frog, which means to rip out stitches on your project. So say I messed up this, my magic ring, and I want to start over. This is frogging. Just to rip out your stitches. That's frogging. It can be aggravating depending on how big your project is that you are ripping apart. Another term you will see is hoth, which is hot off the hook, meaning you just completed it. Your newest project just finished. There's also H-O-T-N, which is hot off the needles for our knitting people. You will see the word cal a lot, which is a crochet along. A lot of websites do it. And a lot of groups have crochet alongs where uh, every week they release one part of a crochet project and you all are working on it at once. Another term you'll hear a lot, yarn barf. It's the mess that comes out of a center pole. It's that big glob of yarn that nobody likes that comes out of their center pole. They call it yarn barf. The last term I have for you yarn bomb. It is a crochet or knitted art piece out in a public place. Example, a tree covered in crochet work. I have seen bicycles crocheting in artwork. Uh, recently, I seen a car commercial on TV that showed a whole car that had been crocheted and knitted. And they just plastered it all over the car. And they call it yarn bombing. Okay. okay, that is all the crochet terms that I have for you for this video, but I will go through all my stitches again, just so people who are learning to crochet will have a slower version of the video to follow. So I hope you like this video and subscribe to my channel so you will see more videos. And until the next video, happy hooking!